Villagers in the picturesque village of Bamford in Derbyshire are angry tonight that they've missed out on the chance to buy their local pub, despite raising nearly £200,000. Campaigners say their bid was ignored despite having the building registered under government rules designed to help communities save pubs. Well, they fear it'll now be closed and demolished to make way for houses. Dan Johnson's been to Bamford. It's a beautiful spot in the heart of the Peak District, with the pub at the centre of village life, especially given that the Angler's Rest is the last of Bamford's three pubs. This one's been closed years. It's currently being renovated, turned into private accommodation and a function suite. And over here is the village post office. Now that is at risk of closure too, so the campaigners wanted to merge that into the Angler's Rest. The post office, the pub, a cafe, a bunkhouse accommodation and a village car park all in the same site so that everything was protected for the community. They raised more than £180,000 but at the last minute found out the owners, Admiral Taverns, had agreed to sell to someone else and the villagers fear the pub will now close. What, what's their strap line? Real community commitment. Um, it needs a question mark on the end when the community says to them, right, we've got the money, we're ready to go and they go, oh, well we've sold it to somebody else. Admiral Taverns say the Anglers has been sold as a going concern to an individual committed to keeping it open. But in a statement he admitted to us, I wasn't aware how contentious the site was. I bought it seeing it as a non-viable pub, but I now categorically deny wanting to demolish the pub. I will continue to talk to the community, he says, with a view of housing the post office in the building. The Anglers is registered as an asset of community value. That's a measure under the government's localism bill designed to help communities save their pub. I think this is a test case for the, for the Localism Act and the ACV and I think you know, we need to push really hard to make sure and stand up for communities to make sure it actually does mean something and communities do have the right to have their say. The government says the bill is working and the pub's protection will be considered if the new owner tries to change the use of the building. The campaigners aren't convinced. For them, it's not just about one pub. They say this is a fight to save their village. Dan Johnson, BBC Look North, Bamford.